Umbrella TV. We're going to begin this episode with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Well, before we go any further, I just wanted to give an update as to why I haven't been posting videos over this last week. It's because I was very sick. I mean, my throat was in terrible shape. It felt like, honestly, it felt like I was trying to swallow razor blades. That's how bad it felt. I couldn't do anything. I could not do a thing. I couldn't, I couldn't work out. I couldn't eat. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't drink liquids. I couldn't talk. I could not do anything. So after a while of trying to resolve it on my own, I prayed to the Lord. I prayed to the Lord to help me with this sore throat, and he did. Because a day or two later, my throat did start feeling better. And I wasn't doing that on his own. So I do thank the Lord for helping me recover from, from that throat ache. And basically, um, that was the reason why I wasn't posting videos. But I did see some videos during the during the week that I wanted to reply to. Specifically, one that where you gave me a uh, a thumbs up. Well, not not necessarily a thumbs up, but more or less, you know, you named me by name. And you thanked me. And that meant a lot to me. It, you know, it made me, made me happy. You know, I'm not going to lie. It made me happy. So I really do appreciate you thanking me like how you did. One moment. Yeah, so I do appreciate um, you thanking me like how you did. That meant a lot to me. Um... But also, what I saw over this past couple of weeks, well, this past week, was I saw quite a few videos from mainly women that were into the word who said that they were interested in getting married. But I, I didn't see any guys' responses to that. <laughs> it's like, I guess most guys, they hear marriage and they go like running like a vampire from from. You know, garlic or something, I guess. But, again, whether it's a man or a woman, everybody's at a different stage of their life. Some people, that's not for them. Some people would really like to do it. I've never been married. I think it might be fun. You know, depending on if the, you know, the person that I'm interested in, if she's into the word, you know, we both put God first. I think it could work. I, I really do. I think, it, like I said, I think it would be fun, you know. But, of course, I've never been married, so I don't, I have no, no clue how all that would work. But I believe if we have God as our foundation, everything would be fine. Okay. So, let's get into the word. Here. This we did go over a little bit before. God's Ten Great Laws, but we are going to focus in now on this part here. The Sabbath day. Remember the day of rest to keep it holy. That is the Sabbath day. And I understand some people are like, man, God, you, bro, you're doing a lot. You know, but the, the thing about it is, is this is what the Lord requires of you to do. This is what he requires of you to do. He requires you to make these sacrifices. For example, during the summertime, my apartment is maybe a block away from what they have. They call like a summer festival. I can't recall now whether it's the whole summer or 
just a couple of weeks, but you can hear the music thumping. You can hear people laughing and singing and having a good time. This is through the Sabbath. They don't stop because of the Sabbath. They just keep it going. And not that this happens to me all the time, but, you know, sometimes I might be in my apartment and I will hear the music and hear people laughing and having a good time. And, you know, you say to yourself, you know, I wouldn't mind going out there and having fun too, but that's the Lord's not going to smile on that. He's not going to smile on that. And that's one of the reasons why I do, I try to do so many different things. Because when that judgment time comes, you're not going to be perfect in every area. If you are just focused in on one area, what, wouldn't it be better if you focused in on a, a multitude of areas of all of what the Lord is asking you to do so to better your chances of making it into the book of everlasting life like what we talked about before Revelation 20 and 15 and whosoever was not found written in the lamb written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire the lake of fire ladies and gentlemen the lake of fire that's forever that's hell so so what you want to do is you want to do as much as you possibly can so that your name can be into the book of everlasting life your name can be written in there you can get your crown of immortality immortality in a happy place not immortality burning getting tortured right so that's the reason why I do you know the things I do and I try to uh, I just try to just be the best version that the Lord would want me to be again we all slip you know nobody's perfect but you just have to try you have to just keep trying you have to keep trying you know I also do want to say this to give an update about this account. Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays is when I'm going to be uploading content. Maybe Saturdays after the Sabbath. After the Sabbath. But Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, that's the goal. And I'm going to do the absolute best I can to stick to that. You know, I have a full schedule, but you must make time for the Lord. So I'm going to try to make sure that I keep to that schedule I am going to keep to that schedule that's my goal you know all right so I'm not this is not going to be a very long video um I just did want to say you know why I was missing it wasn't anything bad or anything like that but again I, I do want to give thanks to you um for you know, shouting me out like how you did. I really appreciate that. You know. I do want to say this is a very, very small part about that. And I want to be clear on this because, again, sometimes, you know, things can get taken and misinterpreted and twisted. And so I want to try to be clear what I'm saying. I am not trying to, like, force anything. I am not trying to push anything. I am being very patient with this because the children of God is a very small group of people. Relatively speaking to the population of the entire world. We're talking thousands of people. Even if, even if we went to the max 999,000 people, that's one less than, well, 999,000 is a little bit less than a million so there's not a lot of us who are in that group we're very rare and I just feel like I don't want to walk away from my blessing not not so soon I don't I really want to give it an opportunity and so I say that to say this that the best way to get to, to really get the an understanding and know me is to speak with me that's the best way 
That's the best way. Now, I totally understand because I did hear or watch a video, you know, where you, hey, you know, women, you guys have to be careful. There's a lot of scumbags and perverts and, and weirdos and creepazoids and pimp preachers and just the worst of the worst. You know, so you definitely have to be careful. I totally agree with that a thousand percent. Do what you need to do to keep safe and sane, you know. But you know, all I can say is what I said before. I'm a very normal person. You know, if there there are some some great qualities I have, but I'm I don't like to mention them because then it seems like I'm not being humble. But I do have some very, very good qualities about me. And but I am very humble and I know that the Lord has given me all that I have. So, yeah, the best way to reach, the best way to get to know me is to just reach out to me. I'm extremely easy to talk to, extremely easy to talk to, you know, strangers feel comfortable talking with me, which is one of the reasons why my degree program, my degree is in political science. I like to be a politician. I like to be one of the few politicians who people could actually trust and know that when I say something, you're going to know that what I'm speaking is the absolute truth because I'm going to keep my word. If I can't do it, I'm going to let you know, you know what, depending on what kind of branch of government I'm in or whatever, I got to work with all these other people. So I'm not sure if I can get it done. I want to get it done, but I'm not sure if I'm going to or we're definitely going to get this done. But that's my degree, is in political science, because that's what I like to be, a politician, but one of the good ones. And now I brought that up again to say that I'm an extremely easy person to talk to. Nothing bad is going to come from that. Absolutely nothing. And I absolutely mean you no harm. I only want good and positive to grow up, to grow from this. Nothing bad, nothing negative, not just just positive, joy, happiness, good memories that could grow from this. Not, nothing bad, nothing at all. But okay, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up with this. I did want to give you guys that update. Remember, Sunday, Tuesdays, Thursdays, those are the days for content, maybe Saturday nights. Um, I've been out because I've been sick, but I'm starting to feel better now, about about 60%. I'm not to an extent where I can start working out again because when you, when you don't eat properly and you don't drink liquids properly and you just, your body just becomes naturally weaker. But as I'm starting to get more into the routine, my strength will recover and I'll be able to get back into working out like I like to do you know but anyway I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go it was a joy speaking with you you guys stay blessed and I'll talk to you later